What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass CompTIA A plus 220-1102 certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about Windows 10 editions, feature differences, and upgrade paths. So Windows 11 was launched in the second half of 2021 as a way for Windows users to access Microsoft services and products with a higher level of general performance. Although the user experience is visually different and the network experience is more seamless, more of the core functionality settings are the same, if not the exact same. So knowing the Windows 10 operating system is key to understanding the foundations of Windows 11. So let's talk about the Windows 10 edition. So Windows 10 and 11, they are the current standard for Microsoft operating systems. And four versions of Windows 10 are described in the following information that you need to know to pass this exam. So let's talk about Windows 10 Home. So this is the most basic desktop version with features that most home users need. It is capable of joining a small home work group and sharing resources such as printers, but it is not able to join large workplace managed domains. Windows 10 Home is most commonly found pre-installed through an original equipment manufacturer such as Dell or HP. Then we have Windows 10 Pro and Pro is the most different version of the many Windows versions. So Pro has all the features of home along with added security and management features found on institutional networks and these include Active Directory for network management, BitLocker and remote desktop. As with home, Windows 10 Pro can be shipped through an OEM. And then we have Windows 10 Pro for Workstation so the key differences between Pro and Pro for Workstations lie in the robustness and licensing. So Pro for Workstations is designed to work with high power computers with advanced chipsets that can handle heavy processing loads. Instead of using an OEM install, licensing must be purchased directly from Microsoft. And then you have Windows 10 Enterprise. This version of Windows 10 has all the features of all the other versions, along with added network management and security tools designed for IT professionals who manage enterprise class networks. All right, let's talk about some feature differences. And the first one we're going to talk about is domain access versus work group. So the key difference between domain access and work group computers is how they are managed. In Windows 10, all computers default to a work group until they join a domain. Domain computers are usually workplace computers that are managed by a network administrator. And work group computers are usually home computers that are peers to other computers on a small home network that can share files and printers. Next Next difference is desktop styles and user interface. So Windows 10 versions, they come with similar interface features, including the task view option and desktops and wallpaper can be enhanced with Bing wallpaper and disability access features are found in both. When the computer comes under the control of a domain, the experience might differ because an administrator can use policies to limit desktops and other features. Next difference we have is remote desktop connection and remote assistance. So to facilitate connections to remote computers and allow full remote control, Microsoft uses the Remote Desktop Connection Program, which is based on the Remote Desktop Protocol or RDP Protocol. And Remote Desktop also includes Remote Assistance, which allows users to invite a technician to view their desktop in the hopes that the technician can fix any problems that they may encounter. Next feature difference is Random Access Memory Support Limitations. So Windows 10 requires at least one gigabyte of RAM for 32-bit installations and two gigabytes for a 64-bit installation. Now, these are the minimums, and depending on the software that's installed and the purpose of the computer, more RAM may be recommended. Next feature is BitLocker. So BitLocker, this is a full volume encryption feature included with Microsoft Windows. It is designed to protect data by providing encryption for entire volumes. By default, it uses the AES encryption algorithm in cipher block chaining with 128-bit or 256 6-bit key and a companion program called BitLocker to go. This encrypts removable disks and USB drives. Next feature difference is the group policy editor. So group policy, this is a tool for controlling the settings on a standalone computer or a group of network computers. A network administrator can set and control almost all settings in the network using Active Directory. And the figure below depicts the output from the gpedit.msc command showing the local group policy editor 
editor on a network computer and the group policy editor is not normally available to the Windows 10 home user. If they do try to input that command, it's normally going to respond with a gpedit.msc is not found type of response. However, users can download unofficial products from non-Microsoft sources and then configure the settings management. Then finally, let's talk about an upgrade path. So in-place upgrades involve upgrading Windows additions while keeping user data, applications, and preferences intact. And the table below shows Windows 10 additions and upgrade methods. The older version of Windows 10 operating systems will remain in place and its installer is used to replace all the operating system files for the new edition, leaving applications and other settings intact. All right, so that was my video on Windows 10 editions where we talked about some feature differences and we talked about upgrade paths.